Welcome back, everyone. We are here for our trusty talk with our trusty trustee, Alicia Williams. We're very thankful for have her here today. Yes, good morning. How are you? Doing great. How about you? Good. Doing All good. right. So uh, there's a few topics we wanted to go over from uh, the last board meeting and, and really just a direction the district's going in. Uh, we wanted to cover our mentoring alliance, which will, it's both summer camps, but also our after school care beginning this next year. Yes. Talk about a few of the positions that were added at our last board meeting. We're very thankful for that, by yep. the way. Uh, and then really want to talk about some of the safety things that have been, I guess, already completed in Robinson, kind of proactive. And thank you, David Rosinski, yes. for helping uh, lead that. And also some of the things we're looking at in the future for safety. Yes, I love all that. So so if you want to start us off on some of the things with Mentoring Alliance, please go ahead. Yes, so I actually was able to go to the kickoff luncheon for Mentoring Alliances and was able to hear um, the guy that started this program talk. And I can tell you he's very passionate about children and about um, having someone there with them at all times, whether it be you know someone to look up to, someone to reach out to when they're in a crisis. Um, we have adopted the summer camp program, which is about 70% full now. So parents, if you have a child K through six, get on that website, get your kid registered. It's a great program. They incorporate um, Bible study into this program. It's, it's wonderful. So make sure you do that. And some other communication will be coming out about after school care for next year. Yep. As soon as we can, we'll get the registration form uh, sent out so you can get to uh sign up for after school care. Yes, I'm so glad we adopted this program because it's going to be really great. And as I mentioned a while ago, um, we are very thankful for the additional positions because yes. we know the, the importance they're going to play in our campuses and also district wide. So Absolutely. you want to mention a couple that, that we have uh, added that y'all approved? Yes. So we are going to add a full assistant principal um, that's going to be at the primary and elementary. What was the percentages? Uh, for the elementary, so we'll have a full time at the primary. Okay. The one at the elementary will be 75%. So basically four days a week at the prime, I mean, excuse me, at the elementary. Okay. And then one day to help out with the intermediate. Perfect. Because of the number of kids there. Gotcha. And then also a full time counselor as well for those campuses. That's right. So I'm excited to talk about our next one because with safety, we have decided as a district to add another police officer. And so we will be, um, those positions are already posted. Police officers about to be posted, okay. the rest are. Perfect. Um, and so we want to talk to you a little bit about all of the safety measures that we have put into place. Um, we actually received one safety grant last year, mm -hmm. which um, covered things like our Marshall program. Uh, it helps with our Marshall program. Uh, the main thing it did is our Raptor program. Oh, the Raptor program, and, yes. And, and with our Raptor, a lot of y'all know, if you've ever been to a campus, uh, your licenses <laughs> have been yes. taken, you get your badge. But the one thing that you may not understand that, that the Raptor program also uh, encompasses, it takes care of any of our alerts and notifications. So if there's an emergency um, or a drill, the Raptor program's used. And in the case, and we'd never want to have to use this, but in the case there was something that we needed reunification, this Raptor system helps us make sure that we're accounting for every single student and every single staff member. So again, that, that was for that first grant. Program. Yes, um, we are working on a second safety grant, which is going to help us cover things like um, bulletproof film on the outside of all of our windows, additional fencing, mm -hmm. some additional cameras to add to our already a uh, good security system and uh, some scrolling clocks. Yeah, uh, we have some clocks uh, and really that uh, Mr. Rosinski helped get when he was assistant principal at the high school. Uh, the digital clocks that you see, they've kind of worn out uh, over the years, yep. but the new clocks, they'll not only show the time, but if there was a lockdown, that scrolls across all the clocks. So it's it, again, just a little added uh, measure for safety. Yes, and then the weapon detection system, which is amazing yeah uh so that is a future thing uh what we're like waiting on right now is one either we're working on another grant or the legislature uh, as they're meeting and they'll conclude this next month they are going to send more money to school districts for safety one of the ones that we have one of the few things that we don't have on the safety uh, spectrum is a weapons detection system yeah and so it works through cameras uh, but it does detect those and uh, some other districts are using them throughout the state and we look to look forward to using something like that. And then you also said something about a drug weapon dog. Talk to me about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to hear what, 
Well, we've always had uh, drug dogs uh, for our for our uh, excuse me for our secondary campuses. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that we're probably going to be working with this next beginning this next year. Um, yes, it's a drug dog, but it also they have if there was ever a bomb, uh, you know, scare, they have bomb dogs that can go to come to a sweep. But their drug dogs also alert on. Uh, ammunition and and weapons. That's amazing. Yep, I we, love that. We do look forward to that. We hate, again, we hate we're having to look at all this stuff, but we want to make sure that we keep our kids in Robinson ISD safe. Yes, and I know as a parent myself, I appreciate it very much. So I appreciate all that we're doing as a district to make sure our kids are safe. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Alicia, for doing this again. There's anything else you want to leave us with? Um, the only thing I'll leave you with is that seniors remember attendance counts and anybody attendance counts. Um, so make sure you're coming to school and getting all your studies in, um, attending all your classes, no skipping seniors. Um, and then as a reminder, seniors check your emails. I know that the counselors sent out a senior calendar. So all those activities, um, pass it along to your parents because I'm sure they would love to attend some of those um, and I think that's about it all right well thank you again so much for being here today thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on our next trustee talk have a great week rockets never quit <laughs>